Horror story. He's the third person in his family to be accused of murder. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at this disturbing trend in the Weaver family. This week, police arrested the stepson of child murder Ward Weaver. 31 year old Francis Weaver and two others are accused in the shooting death of a man in Camby. Amy Frazier has been digging into the facts of Francis Weaver's history. Amy? Well, you may remember it's Francis Weaver who turned in Ward Weaver for the murders of Ashley Pond and Miranda Gaddis. Today, I asked a mental health expert what kind of influence that case may have had on the murder charges Francis is now facing himself. Report of a rape just occurred. You're about to hear the chilling audio I dug out of Francis Weaver's game changing call to 911 in August of 2002. I need to be put over to the FBI. Okay. I need to tell him about my father and the girl, man. Who, who are you? I'm Francis Weaver. That day, Francis would break the double murder case against Ward Weaver wide open, telling police his stepfather had killed Ashley Pond and Miranda Gaddis. Francis made the call after learning Ward Weaver had raped his girlfriend. I'm doing what's right. Yeah, that's right, you are. And from now on, my family will be known for doing what's right. Two years later, police arrested Francis for armed robbery. Now, he's accused of murder in what appears to be a drug deal gone bad. That makes him the third person in his family to be accused of murder. Ward Weaver is serving a life sentence for killing the Oregon City girls. Ward's father, Ward Weaver Jr., was convicted of murder in 1981. Could the trauma of what Francis went through have played a role in, in what he's facing now. Possible. We're all shaped in some part by our experiences. Still, mental health counselor Michael Bai says murder charges for three generations is highly unusual. He says genetics can play a role in sociopathic tendencies, but in this case, Francis is a stepson. In a 2002 interview, Francis did give us a glimpse of what his life was like growing up as he described Ward Weaver. You know, who did show me a lot of pain and uh, a lot of hatred towards me, but also, you know, in life he showed me a lot of love. Clearly, things were not easy to say the least for Francis Weaver. On the other hand, mental health experts tell me there are plenty of people who overcome traumatic situations and go on to live positive lives. We'll continue to follow what unfolds in the current murder case. Kelly, back to you. Amy, thank you.